Okay, I just uh, seen this photo uh, put on Facebook of uh, the split shift, the split shift boys in Clyde. Now, these were the A team, as to call them. They worked split shift on the repair routes to repair the the roofs, and you can see one there, there, and that one poor them. Uh, there was there was two for each repair route. And I know them all, uh, but I can hardly remember the names because I worked with them for a few months uh, when my uh, first wife was expecting uh, my second child. I, I, I asked the manager if I would go on a split shift. I was on the supplies then, uh, cross two. And he let me go on split shift with these boys. And there's Lynn Sandbrook there, who I worked with, and he was into karate and he was uh, showing me karate moves, you know, uh, uh, typical of Lynn. And he nearly broke my arm uh, one shift, showing me a move. But he was a good old boy, I, I gotta say, a good gang, yeah, of Kalai Drev boys. Uh, and this is Feltrin from Kinehi, Italian guy. Good old boy. And here is Tom, look. Tom Rodriguez, Tim Sarvan. Uh, sadly, a dementia. I, I remember going to see him a few years ago. And he could remember me, but his wife was saying he, he, he couldn't remember. He, he, his wife was saying uh, years after I closed, the clothes, he used to get up in the morning and ask his wife to do his, his, his uh, get his clothes and things ready to go to work. Yeah, and this is... Uh, Die, he was a shot man. As Tom, of course, was uh, the deputy. Die was a shot man. And this is Scott from uh, Carway. I forget his first name now, but I remember it was Scott. Right, and this is Mr. Brown, yeah? We used to call him Sergeant Brown because he'd been in the army. Sadly, uh, it was sad to find out that he committed suicide. And he was such a good bloke, a good worker, you know, very strong, strong worker. And we go over here now, and this is John Harvard, Tim Savan. Now, of course, John died a few years ago. I, I worked with John as well. I used to work with different ones all the time. And uh, John died young. And I think this is Butch. I, I can't make out because the thing is, we're going back now over 30 odd years, you know. That's why I'm having trouble remembering the names. I think this is Butch. And I'm wondering where Barry James is. Barry James was, was also a split shift, and this is not Barry James, is it? I don't know. And this is Elvet. Elvet leaning on the, on the girder, yeah? Hell of a nice boy. And, and I forget his name, but I can remember uh, the names of most of the boys, you know. And it's nice to see photos like this. And of course, I sent this on to my brother Spencer, who also remembers these boys. And he also worked with them for a while as a fitter. Yeah, i just seen this now on, uh, on Facebook. I thought I'd film it or put it on YouTube. Because it's nice to see uh, photos like this, the old times, you know, when we used to really have good fun then, working underground, good money, I mean, coal, everything, you know. I've got to say, they were, they were good old days, good old days. Sadly, Thatcher put an end to all of that. Yes, well, I won't go down that road, but uh, it was sad to see all the pits close in and out to work and youngsters today will never have the day you know that they'll never be able to work like we did have the jobs and the money it's so sad and i'm uh it's 2000 what's the date today 2000 2001 21st january 2001 and i'm 71 now and i'm not sure how many of these boys are still alive but i know lynn is still alive because he's his daughter just put this photo on on, on Facebook. Uh, 
I don't know. So, well, of course, Tom is gone. I don't know about health training. Or not. Anyway, I'll finish film. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to remember his name. He's holding his helmet. Uh, uh, you know, it's on the tip of my tongue, you know. Because uh, I knew him well. I knew them all well. I remember the name just 32 years ago. You forget, see? Okay, I'll put this on YouTube now.